Hey there, and welcome back to your end of week show for all things gaming news. I'm your host, Unlucky TZP, and this is GNN. All right, so we're kicking it back with a, a casual show today. Um, just I have a few news stories. Some of them are pretty big, so let's jump right in. So first up, we got our first on-set look at the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie that's coming out next year. Uh, we got to see the props for Tails, Sonic, and Knuckles. And it's cool to see Knuckles in like his physical form. Uh, this, this model kind of gives us an idea of what he's going to look like. And I like that they went with the Sonic Boom, you know, taller, more like burly Knuckles. Kind of shows off his strength. There was a surprise PR release for the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, and it's coming to Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Steam on July 27th. From what I understand, this is a prequel to the Phoenix Wright kind of set of games. This is the first time this series has been localized in English, so it's actually a pretty big deal for Ace Attorney fans. Japan is also doing an Ace Attorney Turnabout collection, which includes Ace Attorney Chronicles and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, like the whole trilogy. This collection is going to be available in every region, but Japan is getting an exclusive physical version. Fan favorite Resident Evil 4 is coming to VR later this year. It features remastered art and AI modifications for VR. It's going to be cool. You're going to be able to switch your weapons by grabbing them straight off your body and dual wield separate weapons as well. I just think it's funny that of course Resident Evil 4 is coming to yet another platform. PlayStation is offering Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition completely for free, no PS Plus required. Once you download it, you have it forever, and this offer ends on May 14th, so pick it up while you can. Following up on a story from like a few weeks ago, Xbox has announced that free to play actually now means free to play. Starting now, all Xbox players have access to free to play games without an Xbox Live subscription. It's wild to me how long it took them to implement this, but congrats Xbox players, you can now play free games for free. <laughs> this got leaked a little while ago, but I didn't want to cover it until it was finally revealed, and this week was the week. LEGO finally revealed the LEGO Luigi Adventure Starter Course. It's essentially the same thing as the Mario Starter Course, but this time you get a pink Yoshi and face off against Boom Boom. It's up for pre-order right now. This one's actually pretty cool. Just as you were able to take your Pokemon Snap photos and print them at Blockbusters, soon you'll be able to print them and any Nintendo Switch photo in the comfort of your own home. Fujifilm and Nintendo are teaming up to allow the Instamax Mini Link printer, which I think released in 2019, to connect to your Nintendo Switch via your smartphone and print any screenshots that you have. The app to enable this functionality is releasing on April 30th. Nintendo's also releasing a Pikachu case for the printer that's bundling together for $120 the same day the app comes out. PlayStation announced that Proudly Monsters and Firewalk Studios are teaming up with PlayStation to develop a new AAA multiplayer IP. We don't know much about this new multiplayer IP that they're developing. Firewalk Studios themselves were just formed in 2018 as part of Probably Monsters, and we can assume that this is all that they've been doing, just working on this one multiplayer IP. And I'm excited to see what they're working on. New IPs coming out of Sony is always a good thing. Over on Twitter, DICE teased the new Battlefield coming out later this year. They call it a return to all-out warfare, and right now they're in the daily playtest stage of game development. They also say the reveal's coming soon, with the little wink face, which leaves me to believe that it's going to be revealed at E3. They're also working on a new Battlefield mobile game, which is coming out in 2022. I'm assuming it's going to play similar to COD Mobile, but we're just going to have to see. Now this story makes me the most sad. Jeff Kaplan is leaving Blizzard Entertainment. Not just the Overwatch team, but Blizzard as a whole. This man started on World of Warcraft and ended in Overwatch and had an amazing 19 year run at Blizzard Entertainment. So we're gonna miss him so much. Thanks Jeff, you're awesome. As for Overwatch, Aaron Keller stepping in as the new game director. And I mean, if we could trust Overwatch with anyone, it's this guy. This guy's been there from the very start. And for the final story of the day, PlayStation has reversed their decision to shut down the PS3 and Vita stores, and they're gonna remain open. It looks like this decision was reached due to the outcry of fans wanting the PS3 and Vita stores to remain open. So it's nice that they're actually listening to their fans. However, the PSP store is still shutting down, unfortunately, on July 2nd, 2021. So if you want any of the games on PSP, you still gotta go grab them. But it's better than all three of the storefronts shutting down. And now for the games that released this week. Near Replicant version 1.22474487139. 
And that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And now that you're all caught up, make sure you hit the button to, to hit the button. <laughs> what? And now that you're all caught up, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next Sunday.